Welcome to NYIM Training, consistently rated the highest quality, most practical Excel training in the metropolitan area. Our trainers bring a minimum of 10 years expert professional training experience, along with big smiles and lots of patience. My name is Joe. I'm the Director of Training and one of our certified Excel experts. I've been doing professional software training for the last 12 years, along with Excel consulting and VBA work. I have trained thousands of clients around the world, including Microsoft. Today I will show you in depth about pie of pie charts. This is a situation where we are charting percentages of a whole, but a lot of those percentages are small, very small compared to the other numbers. In this case, we have some lobbying expenditures for 2011 for the big oil companies, and we are going to create a pie of pie chart for this. The first thing to know about a pie and pie is that we want to order our values from highest to lowest. The reason is with pi and pi, Excel always shows the last few of the numbers in the second pi. So we want the lowest numbers at the bottom to give us the uh, best pie chart and makes the most sense. To do that, we are just going to select our range. We can do that with a control A, go to format as table and choose any of the styles we'll then order these from largest to smallest. Once we do that, we'll insert, we'll choose a pie chart, and we'll choose what's a pie of pie. Now that we have the pie and pie, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see what we're doing. A little too big. Okay, that works well. And we're going to move this over and give ourselves some more area by dragging the plot area over. By default, Excel takes the lowest 33% of however many numbers we have and puts them into an other category. Let's go ahead and label these so that we can see a little bit better by either right clicking and clicking add data labels or we can go up to chart tools layout data labels and we can put them wherever we feel comfortable I'll just say our best fit for now and we want to change those data labels so that they're showing the category name instead of the values and that way we can get rid of our legend by selecting the legend and hitting the delete key. And you'll see it took the bottom 33% and put them in a second pie so that we can see the percentage of this other. What we'll do next is we'll change the amount that are in the second pie. Now that we have our pie of pie, we want to change the amount in the second pie to be only be four because those are our smallest numbers. So we can select our object, right click, we're going to say format our data series, and under series options it says second plot contains the last five values. We're going to change that to four and press close and we can change some other options such as the size of the second pie make it smaller or bigger and you can see that it has the others and that's it for the pie and pie other options are in design we can change coloring make it more monochromatic different effects we have available add our chart titles or take them off we can put our legend back, but in this case we don't want to do that. In our data labels, we can also choose to show 